What's up everyone here today in a brand new YouTube video. Before we get into it, make sure you click go down below and click the subscribe button and the bell with post notifications on so you never miss out on any brand new uploads from me. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like the content that I post. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright everyone, so we are actually here to check out a brand new feature that has just been implemented into the game fairly recently um it it was it was honestly around like a couple to a few days ago but if we head over to your relics forge and you click on your reliquary and you go to and you click on uh only owned and switch it over to only missing or only exclusive uh okay maybe not there okay yeah only no, I had it. No, no, I had it right the first time. Only, ex, only, um, only missing. It won't find. You won't find it an exclusive. You can. You actually now have the ability to craft obsidian relics, everybody. So you can actually. Yes, you can actually craft obsidian relics now. You can cra now. Um, there are four ones that you can craft. There. Um, first up, we have root charge armor. Um, and second, we have, uh, yeah, Root Charge Armor. Okay, at the start of the battle, gives an armor with 110, over 110,000 points to wear, and when the turn starts, heals wear randomly by 35, over 35,000 points, and has three uses. Okay, second relic up is, no, not that amulet, Master Rat's Amulet. When the turn starts, if any ally's life is below 50%, heals targets by 80 over 85,000 points and has two uses in total uh relic number three is dreams mask yes dreams mask a after being damaged by a skill if wearer's life is below 50 percent removes 480.5 points of stamina from attacker and gives 498 points of stamina to wear and has two uses now okay now that that's pretty overpowered. Now, and finally, we have Wing Sue Sword for number four. After damaging with a skill, if target's life is below 50%, just over 38,000 points of water damage to damaged enemies and has two uses in total. Now, because I am such a big armor fan, we're going to go with Rucha's armor. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna also going to need some, some relics to fill in for that extra. So... Let's take this off of Satman, because it's not going to be needed. Uh, what other relics can we take off? Uh, I'm sorry, Alfred. We're going to have to take off your two re relics as well. Maybe, hopefully, that should be enough. Uh, let's go down to only missing again. Are you joking? Okay, I'm still missing some relics to put on, so it looks like... Looks like Teddy VR, it looks like you're getting your relics removed as well. Now, let us see if we can find the... You gotta be joking. I'm literally just right there. Ooh, in fact, hold on. Uh, I forgot that my family actually has a gold relic on. So, this should be the final loose end to tie in order to get me Rude Cha's armor. Yes! I'm actually able to craft it now. Alright, everybody. Let's craft Rude Cha's armor. It, oh my god, just look at the amount of relics it took. It took, well, I didn't really have that many bronze relics and, or silver relics, but gold relics are really what matter most. And after all of that, it still ended up taking nine total diamond relics in order to craft a singular obsidian relic. A singular obsidian relic. Well, anyways, let's chuck off the uh, Nebotus armor and switch it out with uh rude cha's armor so it looks like we're not Ooh, and it looks like uh no well i don't want to get rid of uh i don't want to get rid of that armor so uh we do i definitely want to keep it so let's just um guess uh i guess we'll give it back to alfred then uh i guess alfred can have it for the meantime and now uh actually as a matter of fact Let's hop over to some multiplayer battles to test out how, how this new Obsidian Relic works and everything, if, if you know what I'm reading. All right, so we got our first, this is our first ever Obsidian Relic. It's honestly pretty, it honestly feels pretty cool. All right, so 
Although it doesn't make much difference. Although the only th although the difference is about this armor is that uh, it doesn't even to be honest, it doesn't even matter if you haven't even da been damaged yet because when your turn starts, the armor will randomly heal you by thirty eight thousand points. It will randomly it'll just randomly heal you once your turn once your turn starts. It'll just automatically heal you even if you haven't taken damage. So that's pretty. That's a pretty cool aspect of it. And also at the start of the battle, you gain a, uh, you gain a shield. You gain an, gain an armor with around uh, ten thousand points because you know I only have it at level one, so I'm not gonna have a big uh, difference in uh, with the shield of the armor that I have up. So yeah, there's that. But th there are also, like I said, four other rooms. I mean, relics that you can craft, but this is the one, the main one that I was at to To be honest, I don't even think I, I don't even think I want to craft another obsidian relic because that took, that honestly kind of hurt me because it took nine total obsidian, nine total diamond relics in order to craft one obsidian relic, plus all the bronze and the gold and silver relics that I also had on hand as well. Yeah, so that honestly. That really hurt. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Okay, so I think I've you know showcased off, you know, what the abilities of Obsidian Relics can really do everybody. Without further ado, that does end off today's video and I can't wait to see you all on a brand new one.